Hello, and today I am attempting to film a reading vlog. I tried to film this before, but I actually said writing, and then that was bugging me, so now I'm refilming it. But anyways, this weekend I am hoping to somewhat vlog my reading progress. So currently I am reading Withering Heights by Emily Bronte, and I am that far in I can't tell if you you can see but I think I have about 100 and some pages left and I'm not sure if I'll finish it this weekend or if I'll just make a lot of progress in it and almost be done with it but that's the main reading that I'm thinking that I'll do I also have school reading currently I'm reading uh, cultural anthropology chapter on politics so that's what's been going on and I'm going to get back to reading I moved over to give Fern some attention because he's taking his nap over here and I realized that I didn't talk about what I thought about Wuthering Heights at all so I'm going to sum up some of my thoughts quickly. Wither Nights. So far, it has been a page turner for me, which I did not expect at all. I, most of the time when I go into a classic book, I go into it thinking, well, I'm sure it will be really well written, and that I'll like some of the themes, and that I'll find it interesting, but I usually assume that it will take me longer to read than if I was reading any other book, other than nonfiction probably. But I cannot put this book down because I'm so curious about what's going to happen. Because I've never seen the movie, any movie adaptation, even though I know, oh, I'm covering him up, even though I know that the movies tend to be much different from the books, I still don't know what to anticipate with the ending. I do foresee it being kind of gloomy and morose, like the whole book has been. So, to update my reading, I got a little bit more of Withering Heights done today after I finished my anthropology reading except <laughs> as I read this book I keep having to pause and to think about it and process the information so I feel like it's going to take a little bit longer than I wanted because I keep really trying to analyze it I don't know maybe it's because I'm not taking an English class this semester and I miss analyzing literature the way that you do in a class I'm back with an update. So I took a break from reading and I watched And With a Knee with my family. And then I found a pile of books that I had sitting to one haul. And then I kind of double checked with it to see that I did want to get rid of them. I ended up saving three books. But I am excited to finally get rid of these ones, sell them back to a used bookstore, and that clears up some space on my bookshelf because as a rule of thumb, I like to only keep books that I read and that I really love, that I'll know I want to reread, or that I know I want to lend to people to read. I'm excited to get rid of them and then hopefully use the money to buy new books. So, to do a quick update on how far I have gotten in Wuthering Heights, I have about 35 pages left to read. I got to a point while I was reading this where I just had to stop because it was so 
depressing and I was very frustrated with all of the characters and I feel like it was kind of dragging me down a little bit so I had to just take a break from reading the book and now I started again today and I'm hoping to get through it um, this evening I have to stop and do an assignment for my speech class I have to write a speech and I haven't started the research for that at all yet but I'm hoping to finish this one I have very mixed feelings about it I like the ideas and how Emily Bronte is going through different themes and how she especially is looking at love but there's some things that happen in this book that I get, can't get past like some of the violence it really upset me so I'm thinking that it's a four star read for me because it I definitely don't like it as much as Jane Eyre I don't relate to the characters the same way as I did in Jane Eyre which is why I love that book so much so yeah I'm just excited to get done with it and to move on and I'm definitely going to pick a more lighthearted book next because I need that after reading this gloomy book. <laughs> <laughs>